If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that sub button for more amazing content. Now, let's jump straight into the video. What's good YouTube? It's your girl Bofina1, bringing you guys in another YouTube video. And yes, we're going to talk about Nick Cannon. So Nick Cannon was dropped by Viacom CBS due to his anti somatic comments so on a podcast june 30th on one of nick cannon's episode of cannon's class he interviewed professor griff a rapper who is part of public enemy before leaving the group after making anti-semitic remarks and for those of you who don't know anti-semitic means its definition is in quotes hostile to or prejudice against jews close quotes so on this podcast nick cannon says Black people are the true Hebrews, as well as discuss anti-Semitic conspiracy theories involving the Rothschild family. He says, in quotes, it's never hate speech. You can't be anti-Semitic without when we are the Semitic people, when we are the same people who they want to be. That's our birthright. We are the true Hebrews. Hebrews, close quotes. So Viacom CBS puts out a statement saying, basically it's not acceptable. And since he did not acknowledge or apologize, they are going to terminate their relationship with him. And then after that, Nick Cannon proceeds and responds back with the tweet saying, in quotes, anyone who knows me knows that I have no hate in my heart, nor malice intentions. I do not condone hate speech, nor the spread of hateful rhetoric. We are living in a time where it is more important than ever to promote unity and understanding. Close quotes. So, you know, that's kind of a pretty sensitive topic, you know, that he discussed. I did get a chance to kind of watch a little bit of the clip. Um, part of me, I'm a little like 50-50 on it. Like, I do believe that what he said, or maybe how he said, I could see how some people could have taken it out of context. But I also feel like what he said, um, there's been plenty of other podcasts or news channels or whatever you want to call it that have said way worse it's not excluding what he said is right but at the same time um I also think maybe he might he should have maybe done a little bit more research before he spoke out about it. and see that's kind of the thing about being on the air you have to really be self-conscious about the stuff that you say and what you say because you always have to remember that you may take it a certain way, but someone else may take it a different way. And as well as, you know, the society that we live in right now, we live in a very, as I would call, sensitive society where people take things really out of context or they blow them up to be bigger than what they necessarily are. Not saying that what he said is acceptable. I'm just making the point that um, we live in a society now where, you know, people are, I feel like, very sensitive, you know. So... And then I know uh, P. Diddy had responded back telling him you know, he can come on, you know, come to him with his black owned, uh, you know, company. So it's just, it's kind of one of those things. It's, it's kind of, it, it's a bad situation to be in. And that's why sometimes you have to really be careful about the stuff that you say on the internet because you always have to remember that you may not take it that way, but other people, other groups of people might get offended. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you just, you have to really be careful about the stuff that you put out on the internet and how it, it might affect people. And that, and that comes with being a public figure or, you know, some people call it celebrity, et cetera. You have to really just be careful with all of that. Um, so let me know your guys thoughts about this down below in the comment section. Do you guys believe Nick Cannon was wrong? Do you believe that he was right? Um, let me know. I, I'd love to have a discussion about this. I think I kind of understood where he was going with it, but I think the way that he presented it was just not, like, it was not right at all. So let me know your guys' thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll chat with you later. Peace, Fernando.